this is we've been here before as a couple and the la and Stella in particular I think in relationships a lot of times um just we as people can get triggered and think that maybe something's happening that was traumatic that happened in the past even though that's not really what's happening like communication is a big thing for her she was married to an addict and he emotionally abandoned her and she you know grew up without her parents like abandonment is a big thing and kelly has had his issues with communication and just completely withdrawing and he doesn't realize how terrifying that is for her that she has like completely invested everything into this relationship totally let herself fall in a way that she really hasn't ever before and so when he starts to pull back in the moment that she like needs him the most and he has and he has said like i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there for you it just it freaks her out and she really starts questioning her entire reality she's like oh my god maybe everything that i thought you know that was real and was going on maybe i actually did it again maybe i attracted the same type of dude and he is and he's just gonna emotionally withdraw and she and she can't handle that even though that's not what's going on at all <laughs> I know. it's just i think it's like uh, a history of experience and so even by trying to do the right thing, sometimes it's not, it's the wrong thing. And that just, and if you, if you really break it down, it's just a matter of communicating. Because I, I think, you know, you let something go, it kind of festers and it, it creates something that didn't exist. Like it creates a problem that is unnecessary. So it's, it's you know, it's a work in progress, uh, Kelly in the relationship, but yeah, he's trying to, Stella's going through a lot and she's, she has a lot on her plate and he's, and he's doing his best to support her, even if he doesn't know that he's not, <laughs> it, it, everything's coming from a good place. So, you know, you, the, the hope is they, they work things out before, you know, it creates too much of a diversion, you know, to keep them moving forward. I think that coming up as a firefighter, as a woman, as a woman of color uh, in a mostly male dominated world, there's so much that she has had to go through as far as people thinking that she's not capable of doing what she's doing. Um, I, I, I have a feeling that it's, it's like Kelly in his mind thinks that it's gonna be this like earth shattering thing. And it's like, mm, do you know what I've been through? <laughs> and I think that it would also, even, and this is even just like an observation of people where I think, I think that she would feel more insecure or that would upset her more if she really thought it was true, but she knows that she's done the work. She knows that she is a great leader. Bowden, I mean, Bowden uh, would not invest time and effort into her um, just because she's dating Kelly. That's just not the way Firehouse 51 works. So um, I think that she knows deep down that she's done the work and that she has, she has the goods. You know what I mean? That she's right. not bluffing. So, um, so yeah, I think, I, I, I don't think that something like that would affect her as much as maybe Kelly is thinking that it would. Cause we're working with the time. So, you know, with that, everything going on regarding, uh, COVID restrictions and what have you, there's been a lot of, uh, we've had to kind of go about things a lot differently in terms of the way we shoot. So I think we've honed in a lot more on relationships uh, as opposed to let's, you know, we can, we can, we, we've, we've always done that, but we've done larger scale things uh, throughout the city. Whereas now with, um, you know, restrictions and what we have access to, um, I think we've been focusing more, uh, I wouldn't say more, but 
uh, on relationship and and things uh, within the house. So, i.e., Stella and Severide, and not not like we haven't before, but I think just kind of being more curious as to see how they interact and kind of the layers of, you know, you know, just the human connection there with these two characters, and that's been that's been fun. Just you know what you're talking about with. Um, how he responds to a situation where she's coming up and he, you know, he so wholeheartedly supports her and wants to see her do well. And just like what Brand was saying, he, yeah, he doesn't know what it's like to grow up as a woman and be, a, and, and climb the ranks of being a firefighter as a woman and a woman of color. But he has dealt with some nepotism because it's because of his own father. And I think that stems from his, maybe like an insecurity coming up where listen I, I'll, I'll earn what I want on my own I don't everyone keeps referencing my father everywhere I go so I think him trying to guard her from that is his own projection of how he grew up which is not fair and it doesn't it doesn't make sense anyway so things like things like that have been exciting because we haven't I don't think we've gotten that that layered and that deep um, in the past seasons.